Okay, doing a short video here on how I mitigated uh, EMI from my uh, CNC plasma cutter. Like uh, I think a lot of people, I've got the uh, Arduino, I use the Mini, and I've got a Raspberry Pi right next to my CNC um, doing, doing motor control and cam and uh, the other stuff. I'm using Gerbil Web with the Raspberry Pi and using the, the JS Cut Cam program that comes with it. It lets me cut a bunch of stuff from uh, Inkscape, um, lettering and whatnot, quick brackets, whatever. But when I first built this, the Atmel and the uh, Atmel microprocessor on the Arduino Mini, it's really a piece of shit. Um, it's real sensitive to any kind of EMI and it just locks up. So I know I think a lot of a lot of people write about this on the forums. Uh, a lot of people do stuff to. I think I've done the same. I've routed my motor cables away from the plasma cutter as much as possible. Um, but ultimately, what really got this thing making working pretty reliably is the uh, fixing the actual emissions. Um, what mine would end up failing on is the uh, pilot arc, which is, I think, basically a high voltage coil. And um, basically, when you have a, basically when you have you have your current coming down the pilot wire, which is red, uh, starting an arc, and then the plasma carries over from there. But that current all travels back the ground lead. So. If you think about a, a loop antenna and how it works, if you try to think of this as an antenna radiator, you basically have a loop from the, well, the plasma probe wire and, of course, the pilot wire, and then it's all coming back through the ground wire. Um, that, that area defines the efficiency of that uh, the radiation coming off that. So if you make that loop area as small as possible it becomes a very inefficient uh, radiator and you don't have a lot of EMI coming off the plasma when it strikes an arc and when it's pushing plasma so if you look at what I've done here I've got all the the ground wire the pilot wire and then the uh, the torch wire all kept as close as possible to each other all the way back to the to the cut 50 uh, plasma cutter and even here you'll notice my, my big problem of course is the, pi the pilot arc I've made that loop very small that area within here is really small so the radiation is much less than if this wire was just flapping in the breeze and had a big open area so uh, pretty simple keep your wires tight keep your ground very close to your pilot arc wire um, and that's pretty much it. That'll, uh, for me, that made the thing completely reliable and it works pretty well. Alright, thanks. Thanks for watching.